Our good brother Van Lathan reposted um, a post about from Gary Chambers. He's running for Senate of Louisiana. And uh, the video, in essence, was talking about how um, if we taught real history that the people or the people that our children are, in essence, saying our heroes would not be heroes. There's a child talking about Christopher Columbus, and to be perfectly honest, he's saying some truth about Christopher Columbus. That's just the reality. Now, even though I agree with that concept of telling the actual truth, you know, and some conservatives will say Christopher Columbus paved the way for America, so forth and so on, that does not mean that that did not come at a cost. That does not mean that Christopher Columbus was this great guy. That's just, their, you know, we got to be honest about that if we want America to move forward. With that being the case, I still can't get behind a politician like Gary Chambers. Um, and the reason for that is a few, a, a few fold. And again, this is not a knock towards Gary Chambers. I... Um, don't know him, haven't met him. Um, I think he has some limited perspective on what it means to be pro-gun. But bigger than Gary Chambers, I think the concept is a lot larger. Now, what, what do I mean by this? You have some politicians or people that want to be public servants, that want to run to um, serve the people or their potential constituents. A litmus test for that is where does that politician or political hopeful stand on the Second Amendment conversations. Again, this, this video that Gary Chambers put out was talking about the historical inconsistencies of the story of Christopher Columbus and the racism that was associated with it, which is factual. But you can't then right after that then say, the system is racist, but we're gonna advocate for more restrictions on black people's rights to keep and bear arms. Now, obviously they're not saying only black people, but the reality is when gun control is enforced, the communities of color are the ones that are initially impacted by that. Now, in this comment section, I was going back and forth with people that obviously, I'm not denying their uh, viewpoint that they think that they're pro-black. But in that same comment thread or comment threads just of all of the politicians, hopeful, political hopefuls like this, you see a consistent theme. You see the same people saying they want more gun control. These usually are not gun owners. They don't know anything about firearms. They don't know anything about safety. They don't know anything about uh, none of the process. But these are the same people that say the system is historically racist. So that contradiction is very clear. You're a public servant saying that America's racist. You have a factual base to stand on, but the actual thing that's racist in America, which is gun control, which was literally started to stop black people from having the means to defend themselves, like that's the origin of the concept. Like, think about that. That's the origin of the concept of gun control. Stop black people from having the means to defend themselves. You'll be in support of that racist practice. You'll say that America's racist, and then you say only the police or the government should have guns. That's one angle that those types of people do. The other angle is, and what I notice in a lot of those threads, is when it comes down to the conversation about abortion. Now, your personal views may vary, your moral position may be what it is, but we cannot deny that one of the largest killers of black people or beings is abortion. It's literally black death. That does not mean that you don't have the right to do this or it's not a complicated conversation, but to pretend as if it's not black death and then say you are for the advancement and betterment of black people is another contradiction. When you say you're advocating for more black death, when you say we need to be armed to defend ourselves from criminals in our communities and corrupt portions of law enforcement that they say is racist, they seem to not make the connect. They seem to think that politicians that say, well, I'm a gun owner, and they make videos that say, yeah, I have a gun, but we need to extend background checks and all of this. They seem to not see that those police officers are not gonna go into Beverly Hills and rich areas to enforce this gun control. They're gonna come to black communities. These contradictions are so like strong that I don't really understand why they can't see him. Our organization is called Black Guns Matter. I am for the empowerment and betterment of our community, having more black life and a better quality of black life and the means to defend that high quality black life. When I say that somehow I must be down with the racists 
Then they inevitably go to, they'll check your social media or mine, and they'll say, well, you did an interview with this person and that person, but because these same types of mentalities are all in leftist media and they won't have the conversation with me, the nuanced conversation. Yes, I absolutely believe there are systemic racist issues in America. Gun control is one of them, the primary one of them. Yes, I do believe that there is a systemic or highly organized systemic attack on black people. I'm not opposed to that, but I also don't think that we have to consistently be victimized by this and we can't individually and collectively work to grow against that. But in order to do that, we have to recognize our own contradictions in our community. And when we go to these communities and do our work with Black Guns Matter, the community, the actual constituents, want this message. They, res they, they respond to it very, very well. It would absolutely help that if the public servants that say they're pro-Black would get behind it and support and even push towards leftist media to get behind this message as well. That would be very important for the embedment of the black communities that we say we want to improve and empower. If not, we'll continue to get more of the same, and I absolutely will not support any candidate that is not in alignment with that, those philosophies, regardless of their so-called race. It's very important that we're supporting, if they say they're pro-black, we're actually supporting real pro-black Pro-freedom, pro-logic, pro-gun candidates, be safe, be solutionary.